today, we're headed back to a place I've been missing probably as much as I've been missing the beach. Poblacion. Hi guys! So we're here at Matilde Street in Poblacion. And in this whole COVID season, I've actually been wondering how's Poblacion like? I know a lot of you have been wondering have been wanting to be out. Uh, I wanted to see and explore how hard hit is Poblacion and what's still open because uh, I actually want to do a mini pub crawl tonight with this. So it's Saturday. Um, it's quite early. It's before 6 p.m. And so let's see what Poblacion has left. Just like old times. Just like old times. 2019. So our starting point will be Joe's Brew which used to be here. This used to be like the small uh, shack that Rose Brew had and if you remember that that's called logo that if you remember that skull logo that Joe's Brew used to have over here. This is their uh, roll-up window, so no no more Joe's Brew, unfortunately. From Joe's Brew making our way down here. This was the structure that um, the Z Hostel group was putting together for um, for Manil. It's encouraging that they're continuing the construction. So let's see. So Pedro. beside us, so we've also seen, unfortunately, that Pedro has moved out. Um, so good, a lot of good times here. It looks like uh, it's up for rent in this place. At least you still see the old Pedro Tap House logo still there. Um, but that's about it. If you take a glance inside, there's nothing there anymore. Um, and we walk past uh, crowd favorite Almacen, which is the same townhouse that uh, Pedro was being hosted in. Looks like the Almas and logos are still here, the colorful stairs, but um, I don't know if it's still gonna be operational. So we make our way down the street into Kalayaan and see other places as well. I wasn't able to take some footage, but the new tapas place, La Esquina, doesn't seem to be open, but I understand that they are continuing to sell Monkey Eagle craft beer here for pickup and delivery. Just a little off Matilda Street, we're now in Kalayaan and we're actually where uh, Boogie. Yeah, I'm Boogie. <laughs> Boogie Manila used to be. Uh, I didn't get to go there that much, but it looks like there's another place here. It's Tetsuo. Uh, it's, it's still open. Uh, I guess Boogie Manila no longer is around. From Kalayaan, we make our way into Alfonso Street, where many of Poblacion's hotspots are on. We're here at Agimat, and it looks like it's still around. Um, if you see, there's a guard there and the lights are on. Uh, looks like the lights haven't turned off in this house. By the way guys, if you see me just not talking, because I'm holding the camera for him. She <laughs> wants to be the cameraman, yeah, because so. that's what she majored in. <laughs> so I'm not just standing here, just, I don't know, being in the frame or in the shot. Yep. We are at the Annex House, um, right beside the ruins. I think the Annex House will continue to operate. I don't know. It looks like how it looked like when it started. You know, just a basic house, I guess. Um, so let's see. Let's see what else Publisher has to offer. So, oh, this looks nice. So the ruins looks like it's open. Uh, I don't think the ru ruins were, were ever permanently open anyway. They were open for some nights during the World Cup season and for a few corporate events, uh, special events. Yep, lights are on. Looks like somebody's home. This one looks closed. So it's... it's yeah, Abacada. Um, Abacada looks already closed too. So... We're coming off the street wherein we get into Don Pedro or Z Street. This is Mahalo Asai. The sign's still up, the equipment's still there, so I think it's still open, so that's a good thing. Um, as we walk back here, you see down there that smoke yard is open. Miss G, Alamat, 
uh, are all closed, so only smoke yard looks, looks open now. The hostel looks like it has a regular backpacker crowd up there, so it looks fun. It's the only sound, the only sound that we can hear down the street. So it looks like it's thriving. <laughs> looks like there's a party up there. I don't know if we can get up there. <laughs> can we? <laughs> Still, and of course we're at the corner where the apartment is looks like the doors are closed of course the apartment is from the Z hostel group and I don't think they're gonna be closed they're closed or they're gonna be really closing they seem to be non-operational now but I don't think that's gonna be long term I, I think they're probably gonna be waiting for things to get back to normal we're walking down Z Street Don Pedro say hi to Z hostel Yep, so the hostel looks like everything is in good working order. Car, wait, it's crossed. We're directly below, yep, Pura Vida, if you can see. Pura Vida seems close. Again, a lot of these guys, uh, I'm not sure if it's permanent. Uh, for those that I'm not seeing the sign, uh, it looks like they've moved out for good, but there are those that have still have signs on back there and maybe they're still gonna be opening move a little closer here um, this place has already has been boarded up and this is where Polilia is or at least used to be the signage is still there the lights are off uh, Polilia did give a formal announcement that they've closed so this is definitely a permanent closure uh, when Poblacion was wasn't really big yet uh, this was like like an open ground floor where we could park. I remember parking here. Do you remember that? And without warning, a sign from the heavens. <laughs> what a revelation. This was our intended stop. We just didn't expect to find it here. Okay, safety first guys, safety first. We're here right across where Polilia used to be, across the hostel, and you're surprised because there was like some action going on here um, across the street, and this happens to be one of our favorite bars, which is Wantusawa. So Wantusawa used to be um, on the other side of Kalayaan, uh, beside uh, Ebi Ten. <laughs> I'm starting to forget the name, so I'm really happy for Wantusawa that they got this different location. We're gonna be moving inside, we're just waiting for some tables for the bar area to free up. So it's still the same bar concept that they had across the street. And I'm excited to get my first taste of one Tusawa oysters, which I haven't had for like, what, nine months. I have to admit, it's a little bit unnerving to be eating out, but let's make do of what we have here. followed our oysters with some tuna tataki and I have to say one Tusawa has not lost any step. We had a couple of drinks at uh, one Tusawa. I think it's been like an hour, hour and a half. We're now here at the Crying Tiger area. So Crying Tiger is alive and kicking and also what used to be Dulo Manila here behind me. It's all called Hungry Nomad. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure if this happened during or pre-pandemic. Oh, I was gonna say post-pandemic, but it's, we're not yet post-pandemic. Since it's already almost nine o'clock, it seems to be more happening now. There are more people out. I'm not sure that's a good thing, but great. I mean, I'm just happy to be out. So we're now here at Enrique Street and we weren't sure if we were gonna find the auto open but it's open so let's go if you haven't been to auto in a while i mean even way before the pandemic they are across the street from their original location right above auto is culinary favorite lampara and yes they are open as well We 
we're here at SoCal South of Kalayaan where Tambayali is. So Tambayali is open. What we're gonna check now is if El Chupacabra and Sen Senor Polio is open. So let's see. So one more round before we actually call it a night. It looked like El Chupacabra was not in operation, but reading further, they're actually open until 9.30 and this was already after that. This seems to be true for most places, so if you're headed to Poblacion, our timing between 6pm to 10pm seemed just about right. As we made our way back, we passed by another crowd favorite, Nokal. And yes, it's unfortunate that Nokal has also closed for good. I understand that a lot of these bars have actually moved out of their rentals for the time being. They may be out now, but getting out of their rentals will put them in a position for us to see them back in the future, perhaps in a different location. Is she drunk? <laughs> anyway, so... I guess the question is, is Poblacion worthwhile right now? For me, a lot of places were closed. The usual places that were packed, of course, weren't there. And some of them are either permanently or temporarily closed. But for me, was it worthwhile? As with anything, like I say, it's always good to try. And for me, it's worth it. Um, it was good to feel alive being out. Um, I loved it and if you could get out, if you could practice the safety protocols, just be safe, sanitize your hands every time, then I suggest, you know, have a night out man, have a night out and enjoy yourself. What do you think babe? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, she thinks I'm an Uber driver. <laughs> so see you next time guys.